technique that we're going to demonstrate here is inserting a uh, nasal pharyngeal airway, otherwise known as an NPA. Uh, what it is, is a tube actually that's going to go into uh, their nostril and go back uh, down into the throat that will create an airway. And this is a secondary um, uh, airway that you would do in case uh, the primary airway is not open, which is obviously going to be the mouth. Uh, the person is uh, unconscious, not breathing, and you suspect a spinal injury. We're not going to do the head tilt chin lift because of the suspected spinal trauma. And they might even have some facial trauma that is really preventing the, um, uh, the air to be able to go in, which is why we're actually gonna go through the nose. So what we first wanna do is we actually want to uh, get on our, uh, our gloves and uh, follow any type of um, uh, biohazard uh, procedure using our universal precaution. The next thing is we really wanna select uh, the appropriate size of NPA, and there's um, all different types of sizes depending on the size of the individual. Uh, they're generally sized to height, uh, so depending on the height of the individual, uh, that you can determine it that way. What I also like to do is really kind of look at um, primarily just um, making sure that it fits into the nostril, and many times uh, people also look at about the diameter of your pinky um, provides, um, um, provides that good size. Another thing you can do for size is you can go from the tip of the nose down to the earlobe, and that's about the length that it gets down far enough beyond the tongue, so that way the air can get into the correct spot. Um, and so you want to make sure that it's um, the right length and the right um, size. Now, these are made of um, uh, kind of a silicon rubber, which means that they're kind of sticky, and um, it's very hard to actually get down in um, appropriately. So what we want to do is we actually want to use just a little bit of a water-based lubricant to be able to um, kind of ease that um, um, down um, into there. So I'm going to take a little bit of the lubricant onto my glove and just rub it over the tube just to know, kind of right at the kind of the tip and that's going to allow it to slide kind of deep and in. So now that we've got our um, end uh, lubricated, uh, we can go ahead and slide it down into the nostril. It's generally recommended to go into the right nostril. And so we can see we've got this beveled edge right here. That's going to be kind of facing up and we want the back end to be facing kind of up and back in. So it's gonna slide directly right into the nostril following the passage of the, of the um, airway, and it should just slide nice and in uh, without any you know, major restriction and go right down into the back of the throat, and this allows uh, the airway. Once that's inserted, we can go ahead and grab our, grab our bag valve mask, place this appropriately, sealing the mask, and then when we squeeze, that air should go directly through the nasal pharyngeal airway, directly down into the lungs.